Having trouble with the second question? Well, here's how it's done. We know it's a Sokotoa because of the right angle up in the corner here. And we know in Sokotoa, the first thing we do is figure out which angle we're working with. In this case, it's an angle that we're looking for. So that is obviously going to be the angle that we're going to work with in the question. So there's the angle I want to work with. After that, the reason we choose the angle is so we can label the triangle properly. So across from the 90 degree angle, we always have the hypotenuse. Across from the angle we're working with, we have the side we call opposite, and the third side is called adjacent. Now the reason labeling the sides is so important is because once we write out the formulas, so ka and toa, what we need to do is figure out which of those three formulas we're going to use. In this case, the two sides that we have are A for adjacent and H for hypotenuse. Now the one of the three formulas that uses A with H is this one in the middle here. So I'm going to use the cosine version of Sokotoa to help solve for my angle. So I'm going to write out the formula properly and it says that the cosine or cos of X degrees is equal to adjacent, that's the A up here, divided by hypotenuse, that's the H. So the angle is what I'm trying to solve for, so I'm going to leave that as an x. So the cos of an unknown angle is equal to adjacent, in this question I've been given a value for it, 40.5, divided by hypotenuse, which is given as 53. Now to solve for these, the easiest way to do it is to put this over 1 and create equivalent fractions. Not really necessary here because we could have just divided and had this isolated already, but good to get in the habit of having these equivalent fractions to use. So here what I'm going to do is multiply my diagonals and divide by my other value. That's the rule for multiplying, uh, for cross multiplying. So I'm going to do 1 times 40.5, even though it's a little bit redundant or unnecessary. It's good to get in the habit. So 1 times 40.5 divided by 53. That equals 0 0.764150943. No need to write that out, but I will do it just for the sake of the problem. If you were doing this on your own, you should get in the habit of just leaving that on your calculator and skipping to the last step. But for the sake of the video, I'll write it all out. 0 0.764150943. You can see why we don't want to have to write that out every time. All I need to do, now remember, that's the cosine of x degrees. I don't want the cos of x, I just want x degrees. And to get rid of this cos out front, there's a button on the calculator, the cos button, Look right above it, there's a cos minus 1 here in the corner, and that's what I need to do to get rid of this cos out front. On this calculator, it's shift, that button up there, and then cos, and you'll see the cos minus 1 shows up on the screen. As soon as I press equals, it gives me, for x degrees with no cos, because I just did the cos minus 1, 40.16. 40.16. Since the question was asking for the nearest tenth, I had to go, the, here's the tenth place, I had to go one place beyond, so I can round, and one place to the right. If this is five or above, we round this number up to the next integer. And obviously six is above five, so x degrees is going to give me 40.2, and that's the answer I'm looking for.